right, welcome back to Morning Live. And of course, our send language interpreter is Teresia Washiro. Right now, I want to dwell on matters photography because Azure OS has been quite a journey for photographers in this country. And remember the days where we had to use the darkroom, the film, and they were mobile, walking around just to make sure after 30 days you have your copy of your photo, photo albums. It's been quite a journey. And in studio, I'm joined by David Mashari from Vasta Photographers, who will now be shedding light on now commercializing this uh, trade of photography because there's so many photographers, but now the art of quality, the mark of consistency, and of course, the big thing, the mark of quality that have insisted in that uh, situation. Karibu sana, Mara David. Thank you so much. All right, now, yeah. um, you, know, you know, when you talk about photographers, Anyone can yes. be a photographer. Everyone can, is nowadays. Absolutely. <laughs> you can use your phone. Yes. You can use anything. Yes. But now, what is that mark of a real photographer, quality photographer? Uh, let's call it uh, professional photography. Mm -hmm. um, for you to be a professional photographer, you need several things. Uh, first of all, you need a camera. Yes. Uh, <laughs> then you need the skills. Mm -hmm. And this is where most of the people actually fail a lot. Okay. For you to be a professional photographer, you have to produce something called the quality images. Uh -huh. And the, f the kind of camera that can produce quality images, sometimes, you know, they are not that, they are not pocket change, they sure. are expensive. Sure. So you need to actually uh, <coughs> invest in a camera and again, also make sure you invest in skills. This mm -hmm. is which is the, the most important part, investing in skills because technology have really changed. It's okay. not like those days. Yeah. Okay. So in the digital world, it have made even very easier for us to get some of this knowledge. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Now, uh, how did you start this trade? You know, I've mentioned something about film, the dark room. Yeah. Sometimes a photo can be taken on 1st of August. It yes. comes back on 30th of August. It took so much time. Yes. Guys were eagerly waiting for the photographs. But right now, instant. So how did you start your journey? Uh, my journey started in the year 2000, um, after, immediately after Form 4. I uh, used to work for my dad's business. Then uh, I got an opportunity to come to Nairobi. And, you know, okay. that was the big thing. Yeah, yeah. Then uh, <laughs> I got an opportunity to work in a studio. Okay. That's where I developed an interest in photography. Okay. I didn't know about photography a lot, but I, I developed an interest in photography because I met so many photographers and I could tell a good photographer and a photographer who are not taking good pictures. Yeah, yeah. So, and um, uh, one, of the, one of the photographers actually inspired, his work inspired me to be able to take such kind of pictures. Mm -hmm. And again, I used to admire good pictures. Wow, okay. So the year 2003, I left work, I started uh, in Kangemi. Okay. And, uh, and I think by that time, the, my target market was the house helps, because you okay. know, those yeah, are the people okay. in the house yeah, during yeah. the day. Sure. So uh, you charge 10 shillings, and I have to take a picture, and I could take a picture, you know. Yeah, it's true, Because <laughs> I needed, uh, I realized I needed to look for another target market yeah. who are the, the people, who they are bosses now. Yeah. So, and I think uh, when I started in Kangemi, it was not that easy. Because, yeah, you know, convincing imagine. someone to take a picture. Yeah. You know, and yeah. I used to have my cup portfolio, I used to carry like this. Wow. So you used to be mobile? Yes, I used okay. to be a mobile. Okay. Then uh, from there, I realized the only way I have. I can survive in Nairobi is this job that I know. Yeah, yeah. The one that is giving me 20 shillings. Yes. And then you see how I can scale it mm -hmm. to bring maybe more income. And I decided to target my market to be the people who are employed in this house. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So once I take a good picture, then uh, they definitely, when yes. you have a good picture, you show it even it, today. It, absolutely. Yeah. So when they show it to their bosses, they're like, can you tell this guy to come to on come, Saturday yeah. when the family sure. is all together? Uh -huh. So, and I get there, uh, okay, how up? you can charge 20, but for yeah. them, I yeah. charge 50 shillings. Yeah, absolutely. Then, um, from there, the journey is very long. Mm -hmm. Those are the parents who made now my company. Uh -huh. Because uh -huh. now they work elsewhere. Mm -hmm. They know we have a photographer back in our estate and sure. it's very good. Because sure. my work, actually, remember I was working in a studio. Mm -hmm. So I had invested in some skills. For me to take a good picture, yeah. I knew how to place my lighting yes. and stuff like yes. that. Lighting then really I used to be very fast. Yeah. I disrupted the industry kidogo. Because mm -hmm. uh, me, I used to take a picture today. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow you have it. Wow. <laughs> that means you are, used to be called a film. Yes. That means it used to get uh, full very quickly. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. I used to be, you know, the trick, the, the film doesn't have to be full. Okay. There's a way I used to go to the studio and cut the you one cut I took them. yesterday. Then and I continue using the same frame. That, that was creative. Yeah. <laughs> Times are difficult. Yes. So um, looking at even the, the transition right now, yeah. we're having um, a very, very uh, dynamic uh, photography world right now. Yes. Um, Social media yeah. is taking over its photography. Now, when you have your phone, yes. you can take it. Every is a photographer. There's yeah. a camera here. Yeah. So um, looking at this dynamic of uh, changes, you know, yes. you also have to be evolving. Mm -hmm. Things are changing now. Yes. You have to evolve. How yeah. did you evolve to fit in now? 
Uh, for me to fit in the market, uh, uh, I think uh, it was a, it was a, you know, when the change come, we always like, you know, it is a digital sim yeah, yeah. you know, let's stick to our freedom thing. Mm -hmm. That's the same thing we had our phone, you know. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I used to research a lot. Yeah. And uh, I used to buy magazines so that I can see other photographers who uh -huh. does those big uh -huh. magazines, how yeah. they do it all outside the country. Mm -hmm. And I used to ask all the stupid question: How do you do take this kind of a picture? Sure. So, and the camera they use, first of all, I can't afford them. Mm -hmm. But the people I knew who have the cameras, mm -hmm. sometimes I could go and borrow and I try some few things. Uh -huh. And uh, as I build a portfolio uh, where I could actually showcase to my clients mm -hmm. and I show them this is the way to go. Yeah. Even the albums, we started making new albums because mm -hmm. that's what is, that is what is accepted in the global market. Mm -hmm. And, um, and uh, after time, time goes by, we had to invest in skills that we didn't have uh -huh. Uh -huh. so that we can fit in the market. Mm -hmm. So the digital actually helped a lot because it was much easier, more faster. Delivery, you can take pictures and edit them and actually send them because people want yeah. photos on social yeah. media. Sure. So actually, digital digital thing it actually really help a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Now, w w when you kind of uh, try to fit into the society yes. that is very competitive right now, there's so many photographers. Yeah. Now, w what's that um, a difference that indeed uh, people actually now go for this versatile corner whereby yeah. now they know there's a difference here because. Yes. Trust me, as we're speaking, there's so many things happening here. Yeah. Left, right, center, photography, yes. all photography. So how do you repackage yourself to make sure competition is actually at bay? Um, I find, I, I, let me say as much the competition is there. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I never used to feel there's any competition. Because, okay, okay. you know, when you're a creative and you come up with an idea, mm -hmm. you put it out there, you start selling it. Yeah. So when, before you even sell it, mm -hmm. which value are you bringing on the table? Absolutely. That's the most important part. Mm -hmm. If you're taking a picture, first of all, it has to be a good picture. How are you serving these clients who is coming to your studio? Mm -hmm. You have to treat them with a lot of respect. And again, they feel like, you know, you, they feel at home. Yeah. And you know, some of these things you're introducing in market, like a photo shoot when you come with different clothes with your kids. You know, that experience is what I created when I started the company. So that when you come to the studio, you don't come to the studio every now and then. Mm -hmm. So you come to the studio once and make good use of it. Yeah. Come with a different outfit. And again, those are days of Unasimama, Unapigua picture. No, those days are gone. Let me give you a production. When you come to the studio, I take pictures that by the time you are leaving this mm -hmm. family, mm -hmm. you are actually remembering, we are creating memories for you. Yeah. So that's what actually have made our company to be, because uh, we focus more on family. Mm -hmm. It have made us different. And again, we have, we also keep on sharing the skills to others so that uh -huh. we can actually, you know, yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's good. Now, looking at the young people who yeah. want to venture into photography right now, yeah. um, they're coming in with, uh, of course, equipment. Yes. They're lucky that the parents can now afford yeah. the equipment. They're coming with very good equipment. But now the know-how yes. to produce uh, quality pictures is a problem. Yes. Um, I must mention that 99.9% uh, .9 of weddings right now, yes. they need a photographer. It's Either true. video, yeah. photography, or still photography. Yes. But some people are not always happy with the work. Yes. Um, for the young people maybe, what mm -hmm. are they maybe, the, the first thing they should consider yes. before now settling down to be a professional photographer? Uh, the first thing you should consider is the skills. Because mm -hmm. everyone have a camera. So you yeah. also have a camera. Absolutely. Yourself. How you compose that picture, mm -hmm. how you take the photo, those skills is what is required. And I remember back in the year 2014, I used mm -hmm. to call people to Uhuru Park who wow. want to learn photography. I used to get so many people because they couldn't even my, my small yeah. studio. Yeah. And uh, after we were commissioned by White House to cover the Obama visit when he was here, okay. I got a lot of pressure. That's why I came up with a way, with a small institution, a school, Versatile mm -hmm. School of Photography, okay. where I teach people the practical skills mm -hmm. from how to hold the camera, how to maintain it, yeah. and how to take uh, professional images. Yeah. Then on top of that, before you ask for someone for money uh, to pay you for some service, you must actually offer some value. Sure. So we also teach them the business side mm -hmm. of it mm -hmm. in photography business. Because mm -hmm. with the e-commerce, photography have become a career. Because if you have something that you want to sell and you do not tell us about it, yeah. you won't buy. So you have to create a story behind that product. That's why you need a photographer mm -hmm. or uh, some video done on it. You educate us how do you sell this product. Yeah, and yeah. you know, with like Kenya, SME, especially SME, you are scared of branding. You think branding is only for the big companies. Yeah. But nowadays, the social media thing, you need to get a good picture. So the, the f as a photographer, you have to invest in some skills, the technical skills, because it's not a, something you just read in the book. Yeah. Photography is practical. Mm -hmm. How you hold the camera, how creative you can be, and when you share the work, other people, they start seeing, oh, 
Absolutely. Yes, Absolutely. there's some value that you can actually mm -hmm. invest in you. Mm -hmm. So you need to build something called a portfolio. Mm -hmm. And nowadays, things have become so easy. Your portfolio can be your Instagram, you know, it can be in your website, your Facebook page, but also have something that you can always be going with, you know, when you're going getting married, you know, mm -hmm. I have to come with an album, this is the kind of deliverables yes. I'll give yes. you. Absolutely. So a portfolio is one of the most <coughs> important things. But again, you have to invest in time. How do you take this picture? Get some ideas. Like for me, I still get ideas yeah. from other, yeah. other websites. I try to execute that before I share it in the market. Mm -hmm. So, and this is what you're teaching our student at Versatile School of Photography. Once you learn the skills, even if you have that phone, it doesn't have to be a big DSLR camera. Mm -hmm. Even that phone, most of my projects I do with my phone. Okay. So, how do you package this into the value that you add so that you can get paid? Yeah. And yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's very interesting. Now, the financial aspect, because yes. now some young people think maybe it can really happen so fast. Yes. So, uh, the art of being patient. Mm -hmm. So, how do you instill that in these young people? Uh, what, what I actually tell them, uh, I've done the business for the last, I think, you know, this is my 18th year. Okay. I've done a lot of mistakes. Mm -hmm. Some of them, they're still making them. So I usually tell them, avoid the mistakes that we have done. And that's why I keep sharing the mistakes yeah. I've done. Mm -hmm. So that you can actually move faster and avoid the mistakes that we have done. So that it keeps you on the money in photography. First of all, learn how to give value mm -hmm. in the business industry, mm -hmm. in the creative economy industry. How, to, how much value are you giving that value? So depending how fast you can learn, that how, means how fast you can make your money. Okay. And again, they have to be very open to learn because yeah. these are new skills. Mm -hmm. That's why uh, even, even the people who come to my school, they are, mm -hmm. from, they are graduates from other universities. Yeah. They have done the mass communication. They mm -hmm. come to my school so mm -hmm. that they can actually get to the, the real work. Because uh -huh. the job market have really changed. So it's hands-on, actually. It's hands-on. Mm -hmm. So if you are patient, you're open to learn. Yeah. And again, one of the most important things, mm -hmm. your attitude. If, if I don't like unique, I will not. I won't yeah, work with you. It's true that. You get It's true that. So, and again, this we are dealing with people. Photography, mm -hmm. so you have to be people's person. Yeah. You have to know how to talk to people. It's true. You get It's true that. So, when you want to make, uh, to make money very quickly, mm -hmm. there are ideas you can actually make. But again, you have to be very open to learn, depending how fast you can learn some of these skills, like the attitude, talking mm -hmm. to the people, the value that you give to these clients. Mm -hmm. You can make your money very easy. Okay. So, yeah. just an icebreaker. Sometime yeah. back when I tell a picture of you, I'm going to <laughs> what was happening with you there? <laughs> uh, first of all, we used to use the film. Yeah. The film, it was not supposed to actually be exposed in light. Okay. That's why we used to go to the dark room. Uh -huh. And because of, you, because of you are working as a team, you know, yeah. there's someone who can actually mess it up. Okay. You know, so maybe just expose it and you can find a picture of the developer and you can find a lot of Wow. Because someone exposed some light in it. Oh, okay. okay. That's why that a photographer by that time you used to breathe. <laughs> when you see the, the you see the negatives, you're like, yeah. oh, now by I have the, the way, pictures. You have the pictures. Yes. I can imagine. But now so, these um, things are different. Now these things, things are very different. Mm. Now, um, in the work of Facebook, Instagram, yeah. Twitter, yeah. anyone can share a yeah. photo anywhere. Uh, some some photos, yes, they can you can say some people, yeah, it can look good. Yeah. But as a photographer, you know a quality yes. photograph. Yes. For the media houses out here, newspaper yeah. companies, they mm -hmm. use um, the, the, let me say, a, a published yes. quality, yes. publishing quality uh, images. Photo, for images. Yeah. Now, um, there's some situations where um, mm. a photo can be taken and, for example, sold very expensive. Yes. Uh, what type of incidences maybe do you sell a photo to be like a very expensive? Is it exclusivity or yes. what really kind of determines the, the cost? Uh, first of all, the journey. Mm -hmm. I also have very exclusive pictures like the, the famous picture they called the Ankare is, a, is an Arabic picture. I have taken okay. the picture at night in Arabic. Wow. Oh, the, first of all, the journey. For me to take that picture, first of all, I had to stay at night, the midnight. Yeah till around when, this, when the, the dust have settled yeah, down in yeah, Nairobi and it was Christmas, yeah. I have a picture of the entire city. Wow. So you see, that exclusivity, the journey that I have taken you to take that picture. W some, w w w sorry, where was your point of reference? Like, uh, where did you? It was at, from my top of uh, View Park Towers. Okay, okay. So, and again, I also have some wildlife pictures that I have captured, okay. especially around the National Park, my cinema. Those are very exclusive images. Okay. And I sell them. Mm -hmm. It's a piece of art. Okay. It's no longer just a picture. Mm -hmm. You make it a piece of art. Mm -hmm. So depending on the value that you're going to add your picture and mm -hmm. you also make it exclusive, right? Yeah. For Nairobi picture, I don't yeah. sell it just to anyone. Yeah, yeah. You get Yeah. Because it goes for $1,200. That is around 120000 120000 sure. So the, 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 the value I've added into that image, mm -hmm. is that's what makes it the price. Okay. But again, uh, like when I started, because I realized also photography was very expensive. Mm -hmm. And again, I used to work for... For publishers, yeah, and yeah. I, I used to do commercial photography for billboard and stuff. Okay. But the same kind of quality of image, 
I realize it's only that job is only coming once, you know, in a month or twice. Yes. But I need something called cash flow. It's true. So I decided. Consistency, yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I decided. Mm -hmm. What if I can actually take the same skills and I bring it to you as a yeah. family person? Yeah. So when you come to my studio, actually mm -hmm. people think you became models. You are modeling somewhere because yeah. the kind of image quality that I have invested there mm -hmm. is the same thing as quality photos I've done maybe for even for the billboard for the commercial photography. Okay. So the the quality of the images define you the the lighting, mm -hmm. the camera that you have mm -hmm. invested, mm -hmm. and also sometimes the location. Okay. Yes. Interesting. Now, um, the perception by mm. clients mm. that this thing can be cheap. Yes. Do you ever instill some knowledge about the machines you're using, yeah. the process of that photograph, uh, maybe for the picture to come out? Mm. Do, do you sometimes tell them, because um, we're told that many clients feel like photography is cheap. Uh, sometimes when you're doing a business, mm -hmm. You have to package your stuff. You don't have to expose everything that is in yeah, the kitchen. Yeah. yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, but what you do, you look at the problem and you come up with the solution. Mm -hmm. So you only package that solution that you're offering yeah, to the clients that you're targeting. Yeah. Like for me, if you come to my studio, my, for you to get a one picture is from 500 shillings. You have yeah. made it that affordable. Sure. You can actually, with 500 shillings, you can get a picture at Versatile. Mm -hmm. But in case, depending with the budget that you have, mm -hmm. you can always come and get a package even from 48,000, you know, even 100,000, depending okay. how what the, the kind of products that you want to invest okay. in. So, yes, but again, so also sometimes as a business, you have to figure out how best can I get back my investment? Because mm -hmm. I have done my, I have, I have a studio, like now you have a studio in Village Market. Sure. I need to pay my overheads. Yeah, absolutely. So for me to be able to do that, I need to package my pricing very well. Mm -hmm. And again, I market the product. Mm -hmm. And that's why I said about the portfolio, mm -hmm. tell the people what you do. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, um, things are also changing whereby um, the photos, people want the photos to some paintings, yes. some drawing. Yes. Are you evolving maybe to hire some painters or maybe some artists who kind of now know the trade whereby you have an option to the client. Yes. That of course, after this photography, yes. you also have this option of yes. you being kind of painted somewhere or just a, an art of yourself. Because these days, people don't actually hang these things on the wall. Yeah. They hang the art on the wall. Yes. yes. So it's the same thing I've said. Uh, you, the, uh, the value that we add in images, because mm -hmm. we have different softwares. And I have promoted some young artists in my yeah. studio. Yeah. You know, so I, I usually tell them, once you take the photo, in case the clients want it in a drawing, yeah. I should give them the contact. Yeah. So it's a, it's a very good way of doing also empowering other young people who are actually very good in drawing. And I have one guy called Titus. Mm -hmm. He does amazing wow. drawing. Okay. Yeah. okay. Now, back to the young people. This is, a, is, is an industry that needs a virtue of patience. Yes. Because now, for example, they come to your school, yeah. you train them. But some of them kind of now, um, they want to do this as a hobby. Yeah. They haven't commercialized it. Yes. But when you talk about opportunity, mm -hmm. please tell us more about it because now, yeah, I understand it's 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 diverse. It's diverse. Mm -hmm. There's so many opportunities out here, as I mentioned. Every weekend there must be a wedding somewhere, and the Even wedding events. must have photographers. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, recommendations. You know, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, as a good photographer, mm -hmm. you recommend someone else. Yes. Person X is also a good photographer. Maybe you can just give us an insight on the opportunities in the market. Um. The opportunities that, like, if I talk about versatile photographers, we have so many opportunities. And this is where we are coming up with a product called Versatile Creative Hub, yeah. where we will be able to share some of these opportunities. Because some of the opportunities we get, we can't handle them. We should share to the people we have trained. Yeah. But sometimes you will find out the people we have trained, they are so good, mm -hmm. so already they are already overwhelmed. Yeah. So the opportunities are there that uh, there, there are so many elements come to photography business because people are looking for these services. Because mm -hmm. if you are getting married, there's a baby shower. There's a, you need a photographer. Yeah. And you don't just need a photographer. Yeah. You need someone maybe who have been recommended or you are referred to. Mm -hmm. You get? Yeah. So, but again, how is your portfolio? So some of these very good photographers are already very busy. Mm -hmm. So if you can actually package yourself and actually earn the skills, the business, I can guarantee you, mm. is already there. Okay. Because of the, the e-commerce, mm. events every weekend, there's a lot of events. Yeah. That's why you find, uh, we are not expensive, but we are affordable, but yeah. you find that sometimes we turn up a, a lot of workers. We don't even have people uh -huh. to actually handle some of these jobs. Wow, wow. Which so, is a good thing. Yeah, it's, it's a, a good very thing. good industry. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and I usually tell people, sometimes you can do the things you don't like mm -hmm. so that you can do the things you love later. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I wouldn't lie to you that I was born to be a photographer. Yeah, yeah. I developed an interest. Yeah. 
I realized photography actually is a good business. Mm -hmm. So I, 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 I invested in some skills. I went online. I went to Google University yeah, and yeah. I <laughs> learned everything. Learned I asked everything. questions. I mm -hmm. looked for mentors, mm -hmm. both local and international, mm -hmm. so that I can come up with a product that I can put in the African market. Okay. So you have to sometimes you develop an interest mm -hmm. on something. Mm -hmm. If you want to get in photography business, develop that interest. So that, and we walk the journey with you and we help you how you can even make these ideas into the money because the solution that you're solving. So sometimes it's not about the passion. Because yeah. I usually say, passion don't pay bills. Yeah. But yeah. the moment yeah. is well packaged. Mm -hmm. It actually, yeah. it, it actually, you find it as Amazing. a career. Yeah, it seems like sometimes you are overwhelmed. Yes. How can a young person reach you? Because now he or she is talented, yeah. very good in photography, mm -hmm. but now they want some extra coins. Because yes. now for a weekend, for example, as you mentioned, yeah. sometimes it becomes so heavy that you don't have photographers. So how can they reach you guys? And of course, you mentioned portfolio and yes. branding. Presenting the portfolio to you yes. so that at least you can give them this freelance uh, jobs. Yeah. They can go to our website, they see what we have. They mm -hmm. have we have an email there mm -hmm. and also use the social media page. Some okay. of them are usually asking, I just need to see their portfolio. Yeah. And okay, this that is one of the biggest challenges we have with mm -hmm. very young photographers mm -hmm. upcoming. When you ask them for a portfolio, uh, sometimes you even ask someone, can, you, can I see your profile? Yeah. The only profile you can see is on their social media page. Instagram. Where they put everything. Filters and even, everything. No, no, even yeah. their personality. Oh, okay. You'll find okay. it there like, uh, yeah. this is a kind of person I like to work with. That, that's not, yeah, also, that's also right, the photography yeah. business, mm -hmm. you need to work with the right couple of people. Yes. You see, how yes. you position yourself in social yeah. media, yeah. how you position yourself in the society, it really matters, actually. It matters yeah. a lot. Mm -hmm. So these are some of the challenges. Mm -hmm. And that's why you see even when you go to a, an event you're covering, yeah. either, either corporate or mm -hmm. all our photographers are usually dressed up in the suit. Because also, wow. even how we look, mm -hmm. We, it matters a lot to us. So you don't want this um, <laughs> dreadlocks? <laughs> no, no, okay. no. We have guys with dreadlocks. Okay, they are very okay. neat. Okay. Yeah. Or but we always need neatness. a suit and okay. very neat, so that you can actually brand in the mm -hmm. in an event. Mm -hmm, the event. So some of these are challenges, apart from having a good portfolio, who are you? It's true that <laughs> your physical attributes, the way you <laughs> present yourself. Exactly. Yeah, it's very important. And that's one of the biggest challenges we are having. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But uh, we should ask for portfolios. Mm -hmm. Once you your portfolio. Uh, sometimes I do workshop. I call all of them. Mm. I, I, ch I, I help them okay. the best they can actually put their portfolio so mm -hmm. that it can be accepted okay. in the global market because mm -hmm. the kind of clients we have, they are most of them actually they are international clients. So mm -hmm. how do they accept them? You know? Absolutely. And how, in case I don't get the business, mm -hmm. how do you get the business? It's true. Because Africa is no longer tomorrow. Africa is now. It's today. It's today. It's <laughs> now. Yeah. Sure. Yes. So you said Vasta Photographers was on, on Instagram, your website? Yeah. Vasta Photographers mm -hmm. and VastaTelephotographers.com. That's com. our website. Okay. Yeah. So they can come, they can actually show you their, their portfolio, yes. what they've done. Yes. It's a good thing. Because so you assure them, if it's good, you're convinced, you can give them some gigs, they can go handle that? Eh? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Just, just train. I just do some few trainings. It's a good opportunity, yeah. actually. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Bona David Mashare, for coming. Yeah, I welcome. really appreciate your sentiments. Uh -huh. And it's been a journey. I'm proud of you. All Thank the best you. again. Thank and you. And uh, I'm always proud to kind of talk about some of these journeys because they're, they're, they're so inspiring, actually. To the Thank you so much. All right. As you've heard, that's all we had for you right now. And uh, you can reach him through the uh, social media handles and website. And of course, they'll be with you. But still right now, that's all we had for you right here on Morning Live. My name is Nick Mudimba. Jusumon is up next with Full Circle. Stay tuned. <laughs>